Hi, I am Roxana from VP State, and in this video I will show how to create an About Us page using Elementor plugin. In our Seattle demo, we created a page for About Us. This is the page. And next, in this video, I will show how to import this page in your domain and how to edit the content of the page. The first step is to import the template for the About Us page from the team pack. I will show. In my device, I have saved the full team pack. Now I will unzip it. And in demo content folder, you will find all available templates. In the Elementor page demo templates, you will find all available templates for home pages and other pages. And you will also find the About Us page template from the Seattle demo. This is the one. So this is the template that you will need to import in your domain. I will go back to my test area and here from dashboard, I will go to Elementor templates. I will press import templates. I will click choose file. And now I will select the about a Seattle template from the demo content folder. I will click import now. The template is imported. The next step is to add this template into a page. I will go to Pages, Add New. First, I will add the page title. In the template, we have created the page header with Elementor. So I will deactivate the theme one by selecting header type to be none. I will do the same with the sidebar and with the team search. Also, I will disable the title on the page and now I will publish the page. The About Us page is now created. I will click Edit with Elementor. Next, I will need to import here the About Us template. So I will click this button, Add Template. And from my templates, I will insert the Seattle About Us template. The content of the page was imported. I will save it. And now I will show how to replace the demo images and details with your own. I have enabled Navigator. Here you can see to have better access to each page section. And I will start with the header one. Here you will be able to change the image and the text. The text was added with a heading widget. And here you will be able to change both texts. The image was added as background image for the section and you can find it in style section. Here you can replace this image with your own. Also, you can set the section to be full width and enable stretch section. For the next section, you will be able to change the text and add your own. Here we used text editor. For the next section, we have used the VP Residence list agents and your agents will show here. Next, we have the testimonial section. Here we use the VP Residence testimonial widgets. You will be able to change text, images. Also, you will be able to change the testimonial type. You have four types to choose from. This is type 1, 2, 3, and the current one, which is the type 4. You will be able to do this for each widget. For the next section, we use the Toggle Elementor widget. Here you will be able to change text, icons. From style section, you will be able to change design settings. In the next section, we used the counter widget from Elementor. Here you will be able to change settings. Also, you can observe that on Hoover, this section will be displayed over the next one. This happens because we added a negative value for the margin. I will show in the next steps. For the next section, we have created a section with two columns, one with an image and one with a contact form. The negative margin value was added for the inner section and you will find it in advanced. This is the margin. If you wish to move this section lower, you will need to change this value. 
the image was added as a background image for this column. Here you will find it and you can replace it with your own. And in the next section we have created this contact form with the contact form builder. You will be able to change fields and make other settings. This was the last section. And for the final step I will show how to set the page to be full width. I will go to the settings of the page and I will change the page layout to be full width. This is the option that you will need to select. I will save the changes and now the page is ready to be used in your domain. This wraps our video, thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.